In this video, we'll take a look at the Autodesk Vault Mirror Utility that's included inside of Vault 2014. Once you've installed the actual uh, Vault ADMS console, if you go into Start and then All Programs and then Autodesk and then Autodesk Data Management, you'll have this Vault Mirror Utility here. When you click on this, it'll actually launch up the actual Vault Mirror dialog box. And currently right now, I'm actually running an actual full mirror option. So the settings screen that you see here, you've got the username, password, server, vault, and the mirror folder. So what the vault mirror actually does is you've got two different settings. You've got a full mirror and you've got a partial mirror. So with the full mirror, what that does is it actually goes into your vault folder structure and actually mirrors and actually copies down all the files one to one. So here I've created an actual C colon slash underscore vault mirror folder. So what that's going to do is take a look at my vault and actually download all the folder structure and all the files into that specific folder. So now it's only downloading the actual files. So it's not going to take a look at metadata, items, any property information, or even security or anything like that. So essentially it's just going in and downloading all the files for me. The run partial mirror, what this takes a look at, it's, you know, if I do another scan and I say, you know, my, my mirror folder is going to be that same underscore vault mirror folder, what that does is it looks at and actually checks to see what files I already have inside of that mirror folder and what new files have been added inside of vault. So it's only going to download the actual new files that have been modified. After I finish this full mirror and just say if I want to do another full mirror, what that will actually do is it'll actually do a nice little cleanup process. So it'll go into my Vault Mirror folder and actually do a cleanup and get rid of any files that aren't inside of that vault anymore. So you've got two different options and you know the actual full mirror is going to take longer because essentially it's going to go in and start downloading and do a lot of cleanup um, on the existing actual Vault Mirror folder. So this is a good utility to use just to say if you want to actually create like a file list out to a specific location you can download all the uh, the files um, directly to it. So once the scan is complete you'll get this pop-up that comes up that says full scan completed. So once you're done you can click OK and you can just simply exit out of the utility right here. So what the actual mirror is actually doing is, if we take a look at Vault uh, Pro 2014, if you take a look at the folder structure that I have set here, so I've got a catalogs folder, I've got my content center folder, designs, libraries, I even have some Revit files in here as well. And then I have a test design folder. So if I go into my Vault Mirror folder, so I had here at C underscore Vault Mirror, you can see here I've got Vault and it actually creates and actually copies the same folder structure here. So it just kind of goes in and creates the same hierarchy and adds the actual folder and actually downloads the files for me. So here I've got my catalog, geometric shapes, all my IDE files that I can use for Inventor. If I go over to designs, here underneath the designs, I've got the template and let's go to another folder. We've got Revit families in here all my doors. So over here if I go into uh, my Rev family, annotations, you can see all the files here. So it's just pretty much downloading and actually copying that file, um, all the files directly here. So again it's not going to copy any items, it's just going to be strictly used for uh, file management. Uh, before in previous versions of uh, Vault, uh, I believe it was 2013 and even in 2012, you had to actually install the SDK for Vault in order to get that utility. But now with Vault 2014, if you just go into the Autodesk Data Management, it's going to be located right over here. Um, an additional tool that you have, um, if you click on the tools, uh, you can see that you've got the actual auto loader here. And then you have uh, the Autodesk Server Diagnostic Tool. So when you click on the Autodesk Server Diagnostic tool, this is a good tool to, to kind of check to make sure that you're not having any connectivity issues um, on the database side, or I mean on the server side, or even on the client side. You can actually run this tool, and what it'll actually do is do some checks to say, you know, make sure that IIS is working um, correctly, and you know, look at the, the default websites, anything like that. So this is a good tool to kind of use, you know, after just to kind of validate the system configurations. Um, again, it's it's the same pre-checks that actually Vault uses just to install. So this is kind of a good uh, utility to use on the server side if you are getting any connectivity issues, um, like from a client back to um, the actual server.